Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. December is here, it's getting chilly outside, and your customer success team is back with another CS update and a new episode of What Does Jay Say? With holidays fast approaching, we're already getting into the gift giving spirit, and a gift that we wanted to share with you guys coming real soon is our statistics overhaul. Now what you're seeing here is a little preview of what the new stats page is going to look like and pretty soon you'll notice that you have visibility into a lot more information than before and this will cover stats for your entire organization or your agency, your specific partner location, and of course your individual missions. You may also notice a difference in your user numbers and your play stats and this is because of the changes to the aggregated user data that we were able to pull from Apple and Google Play. So they're able to share much more information with us now, and that data has been expanded to include offline play sessions, repeat plays on guest devices, and any replays from logged in devices, just to name a few examples. So our developers showed me a mission that previously displayed as having 266 users, and this was actually confined to logged in players. So that's what will be shown under logged in users moving forward. Uh, but if if we go up here to total plays, you can see exactly how many times the mission has been played in total and on average per month. In addition to total plays, you can see the distance that your players have walked to get a sense of how much physical activity your missions are providing, as well as how long it typically takes to complete the mission from start to finish. And this is really useful to help determine if your GPS missions are too long or too short. Usually a good self-guided GPS mission will last around half an hour to 45 minutes minutes. Down here on the user graph, we also have some new additions. So there's a toggle for individual plays next to users and downloads. And beforehand, you could only sort by days and months, but now you can also toggle annual stats to see your performance across the year, as well as minute and hour stats, which are very useful for monitoring event missions. So when the stats update goes live, we're gonna release a mandatory update for the app so it can do a better job of collecting all these stats. So look out for that in the app in Google's Play Store when that's ready. So that's coming just a little ways down the road. We're very excited to see those user numbers climb up. And as always, we have a bunch of amazing tips throughout our CS blog in terms of how you can raise those user numbers even further through your own engagement efforts. So stay tuned for that update. Hopefully the holiday cheer is making the wait a little bit easier and we'll see you again really soon. Stay safe and stay cozy.